You know, in my case, uh, as a chief negotiator at the Six Party Talks in 2005, when we, we could reach the so-called September 19th joint statement in Beijing, uh, I was uh, somewhat uh, uh, very optimistic that we can make some progress in the denuclearization process on the Korean Peninsula, even though it may be some slow, but some steady progress, because uh, it was an agreement among six parties, and uh, parties concerned uh, uh, regarded that joint statement, the agreement among them, was fully accommodating a sort of a common denominators of concerned, par concerned parties' interest. Uh, but eventually it failed uh, in implementation. We have to look into uh, what was the background, what was the reason. Well, first of all, we have to blame uh, North Korea uh, that, uh, no, actually, the joint statements hit the snag at the beginning because of so-called Banco Delta Asia case, which means North Korea used uh, that uh, uh, bank in Macao uh, for their money laundering uh, purpose. Uh, well, North Korean uh, is believed to have uh, to make the counterfeiting and uh, laundered money in Banco Delta Asia. But that's one thing. North Korea did something, did some wrong things uh, on their own in counterfeiting uh, foreign countries' money. But on the other hand, uh, the United States uh, was also to blame because I, at that time, I noticed that there was not some uh, smooth uh, policy coordination within U.S. government agencies. Um, the things were like that. Uh, on September 19th of 2005, we reached an agreement, but the, the next day, the next day, on 20th, the United States government posted North Korea as a some country of uh, uh, banking concern, I mean, for money laundering. And then, uh, I think uh, this case contributed in the evaporation of a sort of incipient trust between the United States and uh, uh, North Korea. Uh, well, because of this Banco Delta Asia case, uh, the six-party talks were a stalemate for almost a year. And then the next, day, the next year, in 2006, uh, October, North Korea um, uh, went uh, to test uh, its first nuclear uh, weapon. Well, that's what the, the, the beginning of this story. Well, actually, on September 19, 2005, when the six-party talks produced a joint statement on the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, uh, particularly dismantling of North Korean nuclear program in return of economic assistance and the normalization of relations between the United States and North Korea, and making a peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. We were sanguine that the agreements will move ahead. But that hope was dashed the next day when United States announced that North Korea was, on, was put on the list of uh, the countries of concern of money laundering. Well, I could fully understand that a country should not make a counterfeiting of the banknotes of other countries. That's illegal. That should be punished. 
that's true one, one thing but when we were doing this we need a sort of uh, a priority so if I were in the US government I would pursue this uh, uh, money laundering case quietly through diplomatic channel to North Korea we should stop it and uh, we cannot condone it on the one hand but on the other hand we also move ahead on this denuclearization process so sort of coordination of policy but I uh, uh, in the prospects uh, there was not successful coordination of policy among agencies in the United States government uh, I am still lamenting uh, that uh, uh, happening at that time. And actually, this lack of coordination in the U.S. government on North Korean policy was a source of friction between Seoul and Washington at that time. Seoul wanted, United States wants to more strategic importance on denuclearization, denuclearization of uh, the Korean Peninsula, I mean dismantling of North Korean program, but this, uh, we, could not, we failed to see that uh, uh, type of coordination. Uh, and then, uh, six top body talks was stated, made it, and uh, almost half a year, uh, a year later, uh, in 2006, North Korea uh, went on a nuclear test, which really uh, um, made uh, uh, this process uh, collapsed. If we knew in advance uh, this announcement of uh, uh, U.S. government putting North Korea on the country's of concern list, we might have uh, asked the United States to postpone uh, this, this uh, the publication of the list, I mean the putting the North Korean on the list be somewhat delayed. And in the meantime, we negotiate and we put the diplomatic pressure on North Korea to solve this um, money laundering and this counterfeiting problem, as well as a step-by-step -step implementation of uh, the joint statements at the six-party talks. Uh, but it was too late because it was already uh, published in the U.S. Uh, government gazette. And then when we uh, blamed and when we uh, expressed our disappointment that it was too late because in the United U.S. government uh, the, they did it already officially in the Treasury. So I, I was and I am still uh, quite doubtful uh, that whether there was any coordination uh, reliable coordination between the State Department and the Treasury and the U.S. government at that time. To my view, uh, this present political system in South Korea uh, does not allow any administration to pursue a consistent and effective policy on North Korea because of this five years term of presidency. So to formulate the policy on North Korea and then implement it and then see the results, the five years are too short. Every administration has a desire of short-term political interest in pursuing North Korea as a policy. But North Koreans know that so North Koreans are now you have been used to exploit the South Korean administration's short-term political interest to their benefit. So we, we could not uh, pursue this on a, a sort of consistent uh, policy on North Korea. When you look back, the Kim Dae-jung government we could not uh, have a serious dialogue at the beginning of the administration. It took some you know, long. Kim Dae-jung came to government in 1998, right? This, but uh, uh, the summit meeting came in 2000, two years later. 
And then when the Kim Dae-jung administration's term coming to end, the North Korea was a little, you know, backpedaling. And then they were looking at the, the change of government administration in Washington as well. So North Korea, if I were in North Korean uh, government, I would be very uh, much cautious about stepping forward much vis-a-vis -vis, uh, administration in South or administration in the United States. So because of this uh, uh, limited time of presidential or administration in the South, we have to repeat the, some similar uh, mistakes or similar shortcomings again and again. Same was the case of uh, Rome Muyan government. At, uh, the summit came the last year uh, of this presidency. And then now Lee Myung-bak government, actually this government did nothing, just staying idly mm. in, in the name of uh, so-called strategic uh, patience in coordination with Washington. Um, I think it was uh, lamentable because even though Kim Dae-jung and Do Myung government could not make a full progress in inter-Korean relations, they made some achievements in opening North Korean society a little bit and uh, having some link uh, with the North Korea through uh, the instrument like a Kaesung industrial complex and Gumgangsang tourism and just many uh, cultural and personal contact. Uh, so those progress was not irreversible uh, and those progress was uh, at the same time not to our, up to our expectation, but still it made the progress. But this progress was actually reversed to a certain extent by the Lee Meng Bak government. So this kind of uh, uh, zigzag uh, record uh, is to me somewhat lamentable. The Lee government actually reversed and the destroyed a small achievement, small but meaningful achievements uh, which were made during the uh, two previous administrations here. Oh, uh, just look back uh, at the Romanian government. During his presidency, there was no armed crisis between South and North. No casualties, no military, no soldiers were killed. Oh, but when you see the Lee Myung Bok government, how many people died in military classes between the South and North, and tension heightened so much, and uh, the inter-Korean trade was shrunken, and then this uh, North Korea's uh, uh, economic relations uh, with us were actually replaced by its relations with uh, its trade with uh, China. And North Korea is more depending on China, much more than uh, the previous two administrations here. And then the a small trust built between the two administrations I mean, the, during the two administrations with North Korea was, I think, uh, now evaporated now. That's the most uh, important thing. And on, to on top of that, because of this track record, in the new, any governments in Seoul would be very much difficult in building confidence, in building trust with uh, North Korea, because North Korea would be very much gingerly. How much could they make a deal, make a business with a, a government in Seoul because that policy can be changed any time with another government in the next uh, uh, period.